Hello there. Welcome to EGMAT where we solve every SC question by using the signature EGMAT meaning based approach. My name is Shraddha Jaiswal. I'm a senior verbal SME at EGMAT and today we are going to solve this really difficult OG question by using this meaning based approach. The first step in this approach is the meaning analysis in which we break the sentence down into smaller chunks to extract the meaning presented by every chunk and then put it together to understand what the sentence is conveying. So let's begin. Chinese public buildings erected under a construction code of the Song Dynasty have withstood earthquakes well. Okay, so the sentence is talking about a certain Chinese public buildings that were constructed under a construction code of this particular dynasty known as the Song Dynasty. And what about these Chinese buildings? These Chinese buildings have been able to withstand or tolerate the earthquakes well. Reading further, because the white cedar used has four times the tensile strength of steel. Okay, so because tells us that we are going to read the cause and this is my effect that is presented by the sentence. So why Chinese buildings have withstood earthquakes? Well, because the white cedar used has, it, it, the white cedar uh, is four times stronger than the steel. Then we have and which tells us that we are going to read additional reason. So okay, this was my first reason. And the second reason why these Chinese public buildings have withstood earthquake wells is that the timber frame is flexible. So these Chinese buildings, they use the timber frame, which is very uh, flexible. Also, the sentence tells us that these timber frames incorporate many joints and few nails. Okay. So the way the sentence is written we can put all the information together and understand that the sentence is talking about the specific Chinese buildings that were created or constructed under construction code of the Song Dynasty. These Chinese buildings have been able to tolerate the earthquakes well. And then the sentence presents uh, or mentions two building materials that are responsible for uh, this uh, for, for this feat, why these Chinese buildings uh, have withstood the earthquake spell. The first one is um, the white cedar that is four times stronger than steel and the second reason is the timber frame that is very flexible. The sentence also tells us that timber frame incorporates uh, many joints and few nails. So the way the sentence is written, it's absolutely logical and we don't need to worry about finding out the logic of the sentence because it's all neat over here. Now that we understand the logic of the sentence so well, let's perform the second step in our three-step meaning analysis which is the error analysis. In this step we try to find out what's going on grammatically in the sentence. Now, looking at the subject verb pairs in the underlined portion of the sentence, we have the singular subject over here, the white setter, which has singular verb has, and the white setter has four times the tensile strength. To su so the subject verb pair, uh, the subject and the verb, they uh, agree in number with each other and they make sense too. Same is the case with uh, the subject, the timber frame, and its verb is absolutely accounted for, perfectly going well. Also, all the verb tenses is used in the present context. The sentence is presenting an information, a general information. So use of the simple present tense verbs has and is, is also correct. Then the sentence is not using any pronouns over here, but the modifiers, definitely we have modifiers. And this modifier used is, it's a verb ed modifier, it is correctly talking about the white setter, the white setter used has four times the tensile strength, so which is absolutely fine. Here the verb ing modifier incorporating is correctly talking about the timber frame, so the modifiers are all good. The sentence also incorporates parallelism between these two reasons, 
for which these Chinese buildings have withstood earthquakes well. And both these reasons are perfectly parallel. They are grammatically parallel and logically parallel as well. The sentence also includes comparison as we see this expression over here four times the tensile strength of steel. So basically the sentence is comparing the tensile st strength of the white setup with the tensile strength of steel. So this expression is absolutely fine. The white setter has four times the tensile strength of what? Of steel. So perfect comparison here. No idiom errors, no meaning errors. The sentence is absolutely correct. We don't have any logical issues, no grammatical issues whatsoever. So does this mean that we should just wrap up and try to look into our next sentence? Most definitely not. We must find at least one deterministic error in each and every answer choice to be 100% sure of the choice that we have made, which is choice A for us. Okay, but now let's take a look at choice B. Can we reject it on a solid ground? Definitely we can. The use of this subject verb pair after the preposition of is absolutely incorrect. A preposition is always followed by a noun. It cannot be followed by a subject to a pair. So that's the grammatical error that we see in choice B. Rest everything is fine over here, but that one is a big error. Choice C is a very interesting answer choice. You would be surprised to know that most of the people reject choice A and go with choice C. So what is it that they fail to analyze in choice C that makes choice C such an, a popular answer choice? In order to understand that, let's study the structure of choice A and choice C together. So when we look at choice A, we understand that the sentence is presenting two reasons why these particular Chinese public buildings have been able to withstand the earthquakes. Now let's look at choice C. When we break this sentence down, the only difference that we see between choices A and C is the use of this comma before and. There is no comma before and in choice A, but we see that comma in choice C. And with that comma, now we have the connector over here, comma plus and. And so, whatever comes after this comma pl plus and becomes an independent clause. Now, because this part has become an independent clause, choice C is only presenting one reason why Chinese public buildings have withstood earthquake wells. This part of the portion about the timber frames appear as an independent information absolutely. It's got nothing to do with this reasoning portion over here. Choice C is saying, hey, by the way, Chinese public buildings have with withstood earthquakes well and this is the reason and the second piece of information which is absolutely independent of anything over here is that the timber frame is flexible. This part of the sentence does not become the part of two reasons that is actually intended in choice A. And that's why choice C is incorrect. Okay. So very minute change we see over here, that small little comma that totally messes up with the structure and hence the meaning of the sentence. So choice C is absolutely incorrect. And if you were able to uh, spot this error in choice C, rejecting choice D will be so very easy because it again, again repeats the very same error. We again have comma plus and the timber frame incorporates. So definitely the structural change is totally messing up with the meaning of the sentence. Choice D also presents only one reason for these Chinese buildings being able to withstand the earthquakes. Another grammatical very blatant error that we see in choice D is that the timber frame incorporates 
this is a verb here for the subject timber frame but if you pay attention to the non underlined portion of the sentence you will see that there is another verb present for timber frame in the non underlined portion as well but where is the connector between these two verbs nowhere and a uh, so choice d is incorrect because one subject has two verbs but these verbs are not connected properly so once again when we are analyzing an answer choice we must pay attention to the non underlined portion of the sentence as well to avoid such errors so choice d is also out choice e repeats both the errors that we saw in choice e we again have this comma plus and and we again have the same subject verb error in corporates so two connection error basically two verbs but no connector so choice e is out and we have uh, rejected every other answer choice on the on the solid grounds in choice a remains it it is the triumphant choice that we have in this sentence so a it is all right time to take a look at the takeaway once again when you are spending that time with the original sentence make sure that you really pay attention to the structure and then extract the meaning out of it and do not move ahead in looking into the answer choices unless you are 100% sure of the structure and the meaning that that particular structure communicates next is pay attention to those very subtle structural changes as we saw in choices c d and e that little comma that just sneaked in before and totally changed the structure of the sentence and totally ruined the intended meaning of the sentence so be very careful about those small little uh, sneaky uh, creatures in your answer choices also keep some grammatical rules handy so that you can um reject the answer choice as well like we saw in choices d and e incorporates and is two verbs for the same subject but no connector in between them also in choice b we saw that a preposition is followed by a subject and a verb pair which is incorrect a preposition is always followed by just a noun so you know these basic grammatical rules also help us save the day with this we've come to an end of this solution if you like this solution please gives us gives us a thumbs up so that we know that the content that we are creating here um is helping you if you want to view more such solutions such quality uh, products from egmat definitely subscribe to our channel uh, we are here to help you out with everything that you need with your gmat preparation also check the links in the description for more helpful resources and with this i wrap up this solution happy learning from egmat